Hello, I'm Chief Jesse Godfrey. Yesterday, we had another horrific crash in our city. This is the fourth tragic fatality in the past month. As your police chief, I'm concerned about the driver's behavior and their disregard for the safety of our residents here in Ormond Beach. The loss of one life is too many. When you couple it with distracted driving, speeding, or driving impaired, it makes it that much more devastating. These recent events, these recent incidents cannot be overlooked or disregarded as the norm. This is not acceptable and the city will take action. Our officers are already following protocols to increase traffic safety by utilizing education and enforcement. Some of the things we are doing include the placement of signboards, speed trailers, social media, and traffic enforcement. We drive by these every day and we hope that they will serve as a reminder to pay attention to them. They have all been put there for a reason and following them will help keep our residents safe so we don't have incidents like this in the future. Speeding is against the law and extremely dangerous. Speeding reduces your ability and other drivers' abilities to detect danger and react safely. But most importantly, Speeding kills an average of 300 people each year in Florida. No matter how eager you are to get to your destination, speeding and driving aggressively is dangerous. If you observe aggressive driving, don't engage with the driver. This can result in road rage. Dial star FHP or star 347 from your cell phone or 911 for local law enforcement. If possible, get the license plate or a brief description of the vehicle color, type, doors, etc. There's nothing wrong with safely pulling over and allowing distance between you and the aggressive driver, but think first, safety, safety. Are you driving aggressively or speeding? Slow down and make sure you stay out of the no zone of trucks or blind spots. Don't cut off vehicles, leave room when changing lanes and stay patient. Being patient is the key to ensure you're not driving aggressively. Obeying speed limits and reducing your speed and changing weather conditions reduces the probability and severity of a crash. All motorists must obey speed limits and are responsible for knowing the speed limit on the roadway. State law requires that all drivers, all front seat passengers, and all passengers under the age of 18 fasten their seat belts in Florida. Every time you get in a vehicle, no matter where you are sitting, buckle up. That click reduces your risk of being injured or killed in a crash by almost 50%. Regardless of the reasons, the impact on families is immeasurable. It impacts the entire community when we have a loss of life. I implore you to slow down, check your surroundings, and drive responsibly. Thank you.